Coach Ellis, well, first things first, history is being made today. History is being made. Did you love it? I loved every moment of it. And, you know, there's nothing. I had wrote a post earlier in the week. And five years ago, I walked out the tunnel and I was coaching boys. Today, I walk out the tunnel and I'm leading and coaching girls. And it just hits different. And the emotions really had me at the beginning of the week. And just really what that means that, you know, this girls movement, we've been able to make this happen to where we're sanctioned. And I'm able to lead my team, my girls, the girls I've been fighting for. And uh, it just, it just hits different. It's like awesome. It's awesome. So I just got to give you like by, by happen chance, just yeah. dumb luck is what I will call it. I'm sitting down on the end chairs on mat 10. All of a sudden I'm like looking down on my phone and I look up and they're bringing these two girls out. And there was two he a heavyweight just wrestled from Taze Valley. Well, then the guy comes on the announcement. He's like, "This is the first girls' match in the history, <laughs> right?" And I was fired up, and I was like, "No way!" And it just hit. It was perfect. And I was sitting there, and I hit record, and it was awesome, right? Yeah. So you know, in looking at it, how did that feel when that first match came out? It was Ava Miller from Taze Valley, and she comes out, she gets a pin, scores the first pin, scores the first points, and then they announce it. Was it? Was it? Did it? Has it sunk in since then? Yeah, it's, it's really sunk in. Uh, when I was able to come out with the girls, it just, it hit that this just solidifies girls wrestling as sanctioned that they're in here wrestling side by side with the boys, with their teammates, you know? Um, it's just an amazing experience. And it's something that I can't, I can't describe the feelings and the emotions. It's just something we've worked, you know, decades and decades that we've dreamed about, that we're finally able to make happen. And it's just, dreams are coming true. Whether, you know, they win or lose, dreams are being made. I remember going to the weight tournament and watching this girl beat up the boys. <laughs> I brought that up to you on our podcast, yeah. right? But like, now for the girls to be on a level playing field, yeah. what does it mean to you knowing that, you know, you were the one that had to go through all of, you know, you got beat up by boys all the time. Yeah, you know, a lot of these girls are still wrestling boys, so they're still feeling that. But we're able to provide tournaments and, you know, this postseason to really let them shine and really compete against one of their own. Um, it's just, you know, this is history. I, that's all I can say. It's history. And uh, there's not only myself, right? There's, there's plenty of girls that have wrestled boys and for decades where they help pave the way. You know, all these girls help pave the way. A lot of them are out here coaching. So it's just... Oh, good. How did Orange do today? How did your team Orange? How yeah. many did you bring and how did you do? Yeah, so we brought seven qualified and we have um, five are in the championship. We have two in consolation. One made it to day two and the second one's about to go wrestle. She just walked out of the tunnel while I was watching. I think our interview is about to be over then. Yeah. You got anything else for me? No, I just thank you guys for all your support. And if it wasn't for people like you helping cover girls wrestling and support girls wrestling, we wouldn't be here today, so thank you. Okay, Coach Oswald, I know you got one coming out. Thanks for the time. Good luck to you moving forward.